Hello everyone, myself Viren Patel, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. So in this current video lecture series, we are studying subject of physics group 1. So till now in this chapter of wave motion and acoustic, we have learned about types of motion, classification of sound wave, classification of musical sound and also characteristics of musical sound. In last video, we have discussed about sound absorption and reverberation. In that, we have learned that what is sound absorption, sound absorption coefficient, properties of sound absorbing material, reverberation and how it's calculated using Sabin's formula. Now, in today's video, we are covering the topics such as factors affecting acoustics of building and its remedies. Also, we will discuss the basics about simple harmonic motion. So, let's start with the first topic that is factors affecting acoustics and its remedies. So, the first is reverberation time. So, the time taken by the sound to fall below minimum audibility level is known as reverberation time. So, we can say that persistence of sound after source cuts off defines reverberation. So, if this reverberation time is long, it will lead to the confusion. By providing windows and openings and also by covering floor with carpets, we can reduce that reverberation time. Now, next is loudness. So, due to excess sound absorbing material, loudness may get reduced. Uniform distribution is important in a hall. So, by constructing low ceilings and by using loudspeakers, we can manage the loudness in a hall. Now, next is focusing and interference. So, the presence of concave surfaces in a room may make sound to be concentrated at focus region. So, in addition to focusing, there should not be interference effects due to reflected waves. We know that as constructive interference produces sound of maximum intensity and destructive interference produces sound of minimum intensity at some places. So, by using curved surfaces, we can reduce that interference effect. Now, next is echo. If reflected sound comes back in less than 1 15th of a second, it help in increasing the loudness, otherwise it will create confusion. So, echo is heard due to reflection from a distant object. So, by covering long distance walls and high ceiling with sound absorbing material, that echo effect can be minimized. Now, next is echelon effect. It refers to the generation of separate sound due to multiple echoes. So, by covering the reflecting surfaces with sound absorbing material, we can reduce that echelon effect. Now, next is resonance. If the window panels and sections are not fitted properly, they may start vibrating and it creates 
एक्स्ट्रा साउंड ड्यू टू मैचिंग ऑफ अ फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर देट विंडोज एंड डोर्स शुड बी फिटेड प्रॉपरली एंड वी कैन रिड्यूस दैट रेजोनस इफेक्ट नाउ नेक्स्ट इज नॉइस सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ नॉइस एयरबोर्न नॉइस स्ट्रक्चर बोर्न नॉइस एंड इन साइड नॉइस सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ एयरबोर्न नॉइस सो द नॉइस विच आर कमिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड थ्रू ओपन विंडो डोर्स एंड वेंटिलेटर्स इज नॉन एज एयरबोर्न नॉइस सो रूम कैन बी मेड एयर कंडीशन टू रिड्यूस दैट एयरबोर्न नॉइस नाउ नेक्स्ट इज स्ट्रक्चर बोर्न नॉइस द नॉइस विच इज कन्वे थ्रू द स्ट्रक्चर इज कोल्ड स्ट्रक्चर बोर्न नॉइस बाय यूजिंग वॉल्स विथ एयर स्पेस we can reduce that structure bond noise now next is inside noise so the noises which are produced inside the hall is also known as inside noise for example ac fans typewriters etc so such machineries should be placed with sound absorbing materials and by doing this we can reduce that inside noise so we have discussed the different factors that affects the acoustics of building and its remedies so let's quickly revise that all factors reverberation time loudness focusing and interference echo Echelon effect, resonance, and noise. Now, let's move towards the basics of simple harmonic motion. So, it is a motion in which the acceleration of body is directly proportional to its displacement from a fixed point, and is always directed towards the fixed point. simple harmonic motion possesses the following characteristic the motion is periodic it means that the wave repeats itself after some amount of time when displaced from the fixed point or the mean position a restoring force acts on the particle tending to bring it to the mean position now restoring force on the particle is directly proportional to its displacement so this is the basics of simple harmonic motion so again a motion in which the acceleration of body is directly proportional to its displacement from a fixed point so in this video we have discussed about the different factors that affects the acoustics of building and its remedies and also we have discussed the basics of simple harmonic motion now in next video we will learn the simple harmonic motion in detail and further we will study forced and damped harmonic motion so that's it for today's session Thanks for watching.